leadership potential and improving your personal effectiveness. I think uh, Dr. Rode has done that already. So I'm just going to try and follow in her trail and emphasize a few points. Uh, second of all, um, you might see, if you look closely at my ID tag, that Dr. Adeboye Martins, I take that as an honorary, temporary honorary uh, uh, title bestowed on me by HLA, uh, for which I'm very grateful. <laughs> now, leadership is perhaps the greatest challenge of development in any part of the world. Um, even the developed countries are still developing. But it is truly the great, I think, the key challenge in Africa. We have leaders, natural leaders, outstanding people, as has been pointed out by Dr. Rudy. But in comparison with the mass of people that we have in this country, that we have in Africa, they are not enough at present. However, the potential for leadership is enormous and more than adequate for all our youths. Who are the leaders? When we talk of leadership, we're usually looking at the head of any institution or organization. If we say leadership is a problem in Nigeria, we're thinking of the person in Asoro, right? But leadership is to be found throughout the entire country and at every level. We are all leaders. If you have just one person you take care of, a sibling, a child, a friend, you are a leader. And so the leadership potential we're talking about is not at all restricted to or even directed in the first place at the political leadership potential but the leadership that we have to have at every level of life and activity if we're going to move forward. So, unlocking your leadership potential implies that anybody who's listening to this and is interested is a leader. The second competence, and this is not in order, well, it's probably in order of appearance, but not necessarily in order of importance. They're all equally important at the end of the day. After a while, technology, the increasing complexity of the market, the demands of people will overtake you. And you'll be left with your clunky, simple colored television, and people will be buying from other people who have a variety of offers. It's the same with the individual human being. If you have one skill set that defines you and that and that makes you outstanding, begin to increase that skill set. Begin to learn more. If you stay with the old skill set, you'll find that you'll be overtaken by developments, overtaken by events. You were the master of yesterday. You won't even be the apprentice of tomorrow. And especially with the internet in these times, Things are over, developments are overtaking people so fast, even cutting edge companies within a few weeks can become redundant because the technology has changed, because some, somebody has disrupted the market. So now more than ever, those who profess to be leaders need to be continuous learners. They need to never stop learning. My last slide demonstrates the attitude of leadership an open mind. You need to keep an open mind. You need to divorce your values from your professional commitment. You need to recognize that you are not the judge. You are the helper of the color, creed, or persuasion of the individuals you're dealing with.